HR 128 in the wool. Move for the forward from there on. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Can we go to the last one? Uh, last one. Uh, Questions? Here, uh, from the Ethiopian American community. Uh, After that, we're going to go to Ethiopia. Uh, only three questions. Hmm. Yep. Get ready. Number one, number two. Yeah. I've been working for the last seven years. Speak louder, go. As it is. Legislation, legislation after legislation. He was. We are really, he is the man and he has been working so hard, uh, his staff, including his staff, regular symptoms, which is his work with that, but he's no longer with that. He works with USA and uh, Ethiopians, American community, they are, you are great, you came all the way far this way. We push it hard. We ask the U.S. Congress do the right thing tonight. Yes, yes. yes. Do the right thing. So yes. stop the killing in Ethiopia, the harassment. The journalists have been killed, been thrown in jail. This resolution will help all that. And I hope God take they can pass this resolution. They, they, they should. They should really take a look at it. The United States, <laughs> great country. For, for, for Ethiopia, like Ethiopia. Close friend of Ethiopia for a long time. Mm -hmm. So please do the right thing tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I, ha I, have one, I have one member of the yeah, media. Yeah. Okay. The media. I have a question. Okay. Uh, then number two. Number yeah. Three. First of all, I'm uh, very grateful. Which, which you started from the scratch. I'm from uh, Oromia Media Network. So the reason I'm here for is uh, we are at Oromo. I've been seeing people dying every day. I've been seeing people. We hide a lot of things. We don't expose. If we expose that, Ethiopia is not going to exist. I'm telling you, they are killing our people every day. They are taking people and disappear. A lot of disappearance are happening. So what I was trying to say is, if this resolution is not going to pass, what are we supposed to do? The people are waiting for this. If this is not going to pass, people are going to be engulf and may, move, maybe move into you know another solution so, so i heard this morning a uh, senator from oklahoma right. yeah. he's yeah. opposing yeah. Right. this resolution yeah. right. and we know he is has a daughter who is adopted from ethiopia he is very close friend of ethiopian government for the last 27 years he's been going there and come back here we don't have to worry about why he's going there but what we are trying to say is why he is, this is not even American problem. This is Ethiopian's problem. Why is he opposing this resolution? And what are we supposed to do after this? Right. Thank okay, you. wait, wait. Let Two more say, questions. I, I talked to uh, Senator Imhoff uh, uh, over the weekend. Uh, we, very, we disagree. Uh, his concern, he, first, he, he believes strongly in the government of Ethiopia. <laughs> He never raised an issue to concern to me about the human rights of the Ethiopian people that are being oppressed by this government. Uh, he believes that this resolution is counterproductive to the relationship of the United States with the government of Ethiopia and the cooperation of that government to the war on terror. Yeah, I would just add to that. Real friends don't let friends commit human rights abuses. In 2005, Greg Simpkins and I, now at USAID, was our chief of staff of the African Subcommittee. We traveled, we met with President Mellis, and that's after an, an egregiously flawed election, uh, which was stolen. Uh, people were being gunned down in the street. People were arrested. There was a massive amount of torture uh, upon those individuals, those who weren't killed. And that was the time when I first introduced a bill, uh, for want of a better word, the Ethiopian Human Rights Act. And the idea was, if we don't speak out as the United States Congress, and that includes the White House as the executive branch, uh, who will? We are the nation yeah. right. of all nationalities, all ethnicities. Yes. Everybody is here. So we have, a, I think, a special platform to speak out. You're all here. Uh, so many of you are Ethiopian Americans. Uh, and glad to have you. Glad that I'm here. I, few generations ago, you know, 150 yeah. years ago, <laughs> yes. from Ireland. Yeah. But, but I say that, I mean, we have a unique position as 
the United States of America to speak about human rights where they're abused anywhere in the world. Shame on us if we don't use that opportunity to help people who are being tortured, murdered, raped, and all the other horrible uh, abuses that are visited upon those who disagree with the government. We raised it with Mellis, we've raised it ever since, and, and this resolution, and again, Mike's been a great partner on this, uh, is an opportunity to say, this is the end. We want the relationship to flourish, but it needs to flourish on a bedrock of respect for human rights. And, um, you know, where there's problems, let it be adjudicated in a real court, let it be adjudicated in a way that is nonviolent, and don't use these sweeping emergency powers to round up people uh, and disappear them or to kill them or to abuse them in any other way. Number two, so I'll we're going to keep that pressure up. If this, after this bill, we're looking at more hearings, we're looking, and remember, this calls for a, a full evaluation by the U.S. Department of State and USAID. Uh, we do have democracy programs. We have a lot of other things that could be helpful. It's all about an inclusive government, and it's all about respect for fundamental human rights. Number two. I am from Amahara Press, and thank you, Congressman Smith and Congressman Fama, for effort you put towards the 128. And I am hopeful the U.S. Congress will vote in favor of it. So my question is, how do we ensure the recommendations on HR 128 are fully implemented? Thank you. Well, again, there are multiple reinforcing uh, provisions, action items in, in the resolution. Uh, it'll be up to us to ensure that there is oversight. You know, one of the jobs of Congress is to do oversight, and we will ask that the administration uh, faithfully implement this initiative and I do believe that they will. Uh, and this becomes a blueprint for action. And then Mike and I and other members, bipartisan, uh, will look to make sure that, it's, that this and other concerns are all addressed. This resolution is only the first step. It's a step. Yeah. It, is a, it is a statement by the government of the United States, by the United States House of Representatives, that condemns the Ethiopian government for human rights abuses. But if we don't get beyond this first step, we cannot take the next step. Yes. Okay, one more question. Right right one more question. Right right Thank you. Oh, I gave it, I gave it to that. This guy. This guy. He was waiting. No, this is third. No, it was my chance, right? It was his turn. So how, 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 this is the third. We'll take them both we'll together. Both, we'll yeah, we'll part take. one and part two. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Seth. Congressman, how hopeful are you that this resolution will pass, considering the fact that... Which Which Senator Jim Which is pushing for the rejection of this resolution. And in the event that wait, 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 this will be rejected, what would be the next step? Thank you. Okay, hold on. And part two? Yeah, part two. Uh, another example. Uh, yeah, go ahead. We, we want to thank you first. Chris, I want to, be, to thank you. And all my people in Ethiopia, thank you. Secondly, Mr. Einhoff and the rest who give a, a destructive answer should be silenced by you. We cannot say to them anything because I am not an American. <laughs> you have to tell your people to be sensible. We want good governance, not American governance. Our own governance. Democracy by the people, for the people, and no discrimination between Romos, Amaras, etc. There are, there are a lot to be desired as it is now being expounded. Please help those people who are for the people, not against the people. And thank we you. thank you. I thoroughly thank you. And we should also establish some kind of, some kind of good government and morally right government with a law above everybody else. Thank you. Let me, Thank you. Let me first uh, point out that under the process that we're following, it will take two-thirds vote in the House for this to pass. Uh, I am confident that we will have those votes. I would be shocked, frankly, and dismayed if, <laughs> uh, if those votes weren't there, because members of both parties do believe uh, in fundamental human rights, and frankly, uh, we do have 118 co-sponsors, uh, so that is a significant bipartisan number of people who have put their name on the bill. Uh, so I think, and again, that's, I think, attributable to your great work, and I, I thank you for it. Uh, if it were not to pass, 
undeterred, we come right back. Yes. There are other ways, yeah. there are other ways yeah. to bring it up yeah. resolution uh, with a simple majority. It would take a rule to do it. Uh, and we have the commitment, uh, I know, of our majority leader, Kevin McCarthy, as you, many of you met uh, in his office with Mike and I and, and others, uh, and he is committed uh, to the human rights of the people of, of Ethiopia. Uh, <clears throat> in terms of, you know, this has to become, as Mike said, this is the beginning. Uh, we've got to ratchet up the focus, the scrutiny, the benign pressure to say to the Ethiopian government, you know, we really are for Ethiopia and its people, but all the people. And uh, again, it is a surface appeal argument to suggest, uh, and a misguided argument, that somehow the cooperation on the war on terror uh, and peacekeeping in Africa uh, cannot be continued uh, because we're doing this. That is absurd. Uh, take care and protect your own people while you're fighting outside forces with terrorism. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna stay. We're gonna stay. You have to go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Just one second. Okay. Jerry, one second. Yeah. Go ahead. One so more question. Direct them to the uh, uh, visitors center because the floor vote will start uh, around five. 5.15. Okay. 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 With the debate. Okay. Debate. Uh, 5.30. Uh, Five Five uh, Terry, Terry. Can we announce that? Oh, I love the employee. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sir, sir. Can we announce the Mespin has an announcement. Okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah, after, after this, after the vote, uh, everybody invited on room H. Uh, C8. 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 Room C8. C8. In the capital. No, H. H C eight 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 C
So what do you think about today's vote? No, I think it's the good things. Uh, you know, it seems to be positive that it will pa pass from what it looked like it. And so we have to be hopeful. And we have to go do our job. And it's the work of other people that who made this possible. And we cannot count them. There's countless of people who have done this, including the by media, you know, what you're doing in reporting. So it's the work of the people. And I hope that it will pass and struggle continue. So this is the U.S. portion, but we have to do our portion. So this American, we have to do our portion. Let him and the Hapin Lamarek, Abro Tabarita, so yes, I wrote to be on Shuman Melkala. Suma let to be on me, I'm a little political, Mazgana and Matimaria to be on. You know, the Tamaya won't be on. Okay, 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 Ini ni anda betul asas min berasa cukup bicara. Ina yang dan tu konsisten terpulang. Ina ini ni konsisten sedemu Amerika bicara. Ini yang nyaman. Ina pas kena ni yang itu malah untuk suruh suruh kalau negara ni. Ini yang dan dah cincin bersah cincin kasaran. Main darah sebab kuota yang dah. I'm going to go to HR 128. I'm going to go to the HR 128. I'm going to go to the HR 128. Saulid lay asalkan kita orang awal jalan itu semua yang ini balik tanah demo, itu tetapi yang kita lakukan demi kerja untuk membuat semangat dulu, mengajar kita kerja macam ini resolution. Jadi, yang ini resolution malah kita tidak dilihat mana. I hope bazar ini lebih jauh faham yang kita buat lah untuk ini. Kami kata dalam bahasa agar macam ni lah. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. So, uh, okay, I'm Salu, Sagay Casa Parano, Kipian American Civil Council, Brown Sat, Mikinia, but I'm now here now. So, they call Juala with the Chambers of the Wallen, Tarikawi, Yohana, Yapotin, 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 I'm not sure Thank you.
abuses that have been long-standing. I've been trying since 2005, at least, and even before that, but in a very focused way with legislation and hearings and visits to say, you know, this abuse has to stop with the emergency laws or policies that went into effect, uh, the equivalent of martial law in many ways. Uh, we've seen a, a huge escalation of disappearances, torture, and actual deaths and beatings. Um, Ethiopia is the people, uh, we, we are great friends with the Ethiopian people. That's why this legislation is an attempt to say we're in solidarity with the oppressed, mm -hmm. not with the oppressor. Now, we're hoping that this government will see the light, let all the political prisoners out, get rid of those proclamations that have made it uh, you know, a systemic problem where at, on any day of their choosing they can arrest somebody and disappear them or even kill them. Um, that's got to change. As I said a moment ago, you know, friends don't let friends commit human rights abuses. Uh, the Ethiopian people are a great people, uh, and they deserve better than what they have gotten. Yes. And that's what this legislation is is trying to do. And it also would call on our own government, uh, the U.S. Department of State, the Secretary of State, and his staff, and USAID, uh, Mark Green, who I know very well, he used to be on my subcommittee. He's our administrator at USAID, calls on them to do a complete reevaluation uh, on how we can push the rule of law, human rights, and other important uh, 
efforts, even in our in our democracy programs, and of course, even our humanitarian initiatives, which are very robust in Ethiopia. We care about the pe people of Ethiopia. I think that is very clear. Uh, and if you really care, you don't let a government mistreat and abuse people. As well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Last question, Congressman. Just last question. What is, Congressman? What is your gut feeling about HR 128? Can you just give us that? What is your gut feeling about HR 128? How do you feel about it? I'm very hopeful. We have 118 co-sponsors. We've worked it very hard. Uh, I think the opponents will be making the case that somehow this will injure our ability to work with Ethiopia on terrorism. Uh, I say it helps us to work with them on combating terrorism. Because if you terrorize your own people with human rights abuses, uh, that's not sustainable. Plus, for every person who suffers, that's who we need to be in solidarity with. And, you know, our government is making it very clear, I hope today, the House of Representatives, that we are standing with the people who are suffering, and we want them treated fairly in a transparent process. As I said before, uh, it brings more scrutiny to the government when they don't allow the UN rapporteur unfettered access to go wherever they want to go, interview who they want to talk to. Right. Uh, and so we're, we're, that's in our resolution asking that that happen as well. Thank Fantastic, you very much. Congressman. Thank you. We'll look forward to seeing you after the vote, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ሰዎች እንዲሰሩ የሚገባቸው ስራ እንዳለ ሁሉ 
ይሄ ሀገር ደሞ ትልቅ ሀገር ነው በአለም ላይ ብዙ ስራ ቢሰራ ስለሆነ የህዝባችንን መከራ አይተው ለነዚህ ሰዎች በአገራችን ያሉ በህዝቡ ላይ መከራ የሚያደርሱ መንግስታት ያለው መንግስት የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት በህዝቡ ላይ የሚያደርገውን ነገር እንዲያቆም ወዳጆች ስለሆኑ ጫናውን እንዲፈጥሩ የሚሰሩትን ስራ እንዲያቆሙ ይህን ነገር ካሜራ ይዞ መግባት ላይ ፈቀድ ይችላል ግን ስንወጣ መልሰን ስለ ውጤቱ በቅጣት አስተላልፋለህ እናንተም እንግዲህ ትንሽ ወደ ምስተጠቅሞ ወደ ምደረቅና ቦታ ይሄድልኝ
uh, for um, the freedom of speech, uh, and uh, I'm a, a proponent for human rights. Um, my field is nursing, and that is the reason why I'm here to support it. Uh, I believe in ethics, and Ethiopia needs ethics um, and ethical um, uh, leadership in our country. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you very much, <laughs> sir. Yes. <laughs> sure. HR 128. just yet because it, it'll open at 445 so it's about 10 minutes until they'll probably five minutes until they let everybody in and then start getting everybody ready for the gallery uh, because it's not open because we're not in session technically okay great all right all right thanks man. of course
ወዲያ ባይ ሚዲያ ከተሰረጨ ተከታታዮች አሁን ከዚህ በኋላ ከተሰጣችን እና ቆማለን መጨረሻ ላይ ተመረሰን ከውጤት